hey guys welcome back to my channel so i dropped this video before but somehow again my video got deleted but it's okay because one thing's for sure two things for certain Monica can remake her recipes and it's gonna be of course better than before so we're gonna hop right into this video i am making my famous Monty mcmuffins sausage bacon and ham let's go so first we want to start off with one and one fourth cup of flour one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of baking powder three tablespoons of sugar one egg a whole stick of butter melted of course and then one and one fourth cup of buttermilk you can also add in a teaspoon of vanilla i didn't have any vanilla but i normally do add vanilla up in there um but that of course that's optional and then we just gonna mix this all around until it gets nice and smooth you want it it's like a pancake batter because that's what's going to be our sandwich buns you know instead of using bread we making pancakes as our bread and we're gonna mix this all around and then we are going to move on to making our pancakes also for this you're gonna need some type of um, pancake shaper so your sandwich can look like everything can be even so I'm using this egg shaper I got it from of course Walmart for like two dollars I got like five of them and I'm just gonna pull my pancakes just a scoop one scoop of pancake mix into the the shapers and i'm gonna use this shaper for everything my eggs to shape my sausage everything so everything can be aligned we, it can look uniform we want our sandwiches to be pretty because remember presentation is key and then once your um sandwiches is 80 percent cooked you want to go ahead and flip them you don't want to flip them too early because you know you don't want it to m mess up the shape so i kind of went you know when it start bubbling then you want to flip them immediately add butter to it and then we can move on to making our next set of sandwiches also i do put my um lid on top just to help the top cook better and i have my stove on a level three guys it's important that you cook these slow because you don't want that bottom to brown too much okay so just cook it slow take your time that's why i don't make these too often because they do take a long time to make but they are delicious but now we're gonna move on to our bacon in every bite guys i cannot even explain this all i'm gonna tell you is you're gonna need three pieces of bacon and then cut them in half and then you guys gonna have to watch what i'm doing because if i'm gonna try if i'm gonna explain this i feel like i'm gonna confuse you more so just watch what i'm doing So now we got our bacon in every bite and I'm going to place this into my oven on 400 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes and we can move on to our sausage. I'm using turkey sausage and as you can see, I am just going to cut a piece off and then shape it kind of like a hamburger patty and you guys can cut it as thick as you want to. I cut mine like a half inch thick. I don't like too much sausage. I like mine to be like slim, um, but you can cut it as thick as you want to, how small as you want to. I like mine to be uniform, so I kind of use that egg shaper to shape it, but you want to make it just a little bigger than the egg shaper because you know when you put it in the pan, it's going to shrink. Um, but once you get your desired shape on how thick you want it to be, and it's looking kind of like a hamburger patty, um, and I'm using turkey sausage, but you can use whatever type of sausage you want to. You just want to place it into your pan, and I am placing three pieces of sliced ham, the little lunch meat, um, honey ham. I'm gonna place that into my pan, and I'm just gonna let that cook um, until you know it gets a little um, brown, a little charred. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but y'all know what I mean. Like it's looking like y'all didn't, you know, he heated up that ham and then you want to um flip over your sausage after about three minutes and then you can just keep going until i like mine to have like little brown marks on my sausage patties um but of course flip it until it's cooked and then once we have everything ready we can then move on to making our eggs
So now we can make our eggs and we're using, of course, those same egg shapers and make sure if you're using this kind, you want to butter them because the pancake mixture and the eggs will stick to it. So I just place a little bit of butter around in the middle of the um, egg shapers and then I'm going to place one egg in each of them. Let that cook for about five minutes and I have my stove on a level four. And once they're almost done, we want to take the egg shapers out so we can flip them immediately immediately put some cheese on there you can also season your eggs i put a little bit of salt pepper and a splash of obey for kick and um we're gonna put place our lid back on top let that cheese melt once the cheese has melted we ready to assemble these sandwiches y'all because presentation is key and y'all gonna like what i do if you ain't seen my original video it's all about elevation in 2020 and one thing for sure two things for certain Moni gonna elevate her breakfast in 2020 and i'm gonna need for you guys to do the same let the church say what amen so we're gonna hop right into presentation time because we all know presentation is key so first we want to start off with our um pancake patties make sure you use the ones that don't look pretty save the pretty ones for the top layer and then we're gonna layer it with our meat sausage ham and bacon then we're gonna add in our cheese our eggs with the cheese on top then we just gonna place that the pretty ones the pretty pancakes on top then of course we're gonna let it snow i let it snow i let it snow y'all know i love powder sugar and all my breakfast stuff so um i'm gonna sprinkle a generous amount of powder sugar and make sure you want to you want to sprinkle it on a plate okay you want the whole plate to be covered in powdered sugar and then my favorite part you want to take some syrup whatever type of syrup you want to use and i just like to um use my ketchup dispenser and just strategically place them place the syrup all up and through that sandwich and then garnish it with a little bit of blueberries if you got some fresh strawberries whatever type of fruit you want to fruit is optional and that's pretty much it guys very simple very easy money mcmuffins please make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys are washing your hands and i will see you guys in my next video